this is Judy Adele and I am here to do a music reaction video. Today, uh, I have no idea what the song is, I have no idea who the artist is, but I do know this is a request and it comes from DP and Mickey Mayfield. So, let's see what it's about. Started ah. a joke, which started the whole world crying. But I didn't say, oh no, that the joke was on me. Oh no. Robin! I started to cry. Which started the whole world laughing Oh, if I only say Oh, no That the joke was amazing Robin has such a unique I mean, an interesting voice. And we don't hear it very much in the Bee Gees. Like, we don't hear it very much alone. I don't even know if I can think of another song that he did alone. And this is one of the songs that I have always heard and I have always paid more attention to his voice and I don't even have a clue if I know what it's about at all. Also very interesting is because you don't see very often singers, you know, actually see them. I mean, it's a great tool. Maintaining that, maintaining his hand so he can hear himself better. At least I'm assuming that's what he's doing. I saw Weird Al do that last night, actually. <laughs> And uh, anyway, I'm only saying, because like I said, it's a great tool. And I don't even know if it's sort of frowned upon or if it's just obviously that's not what you want to be always doing when you're singing. But it's interesting when people choose to use it. So I'm just made aware of it by watching him and watching Al last night and thinking of myself, how that's something that I've never thought. I don't think I've ever thought to do in a live performance. And now I'm wishing that I had and maybe we'll have to. Anyway, thank you Weird Al and Robin Gibb for opening my eyes to the possibilities of what one can do. Okay, back to Robin. Oh, if I only say, oh no, that the joke was Okay, sorry. I see I see now that he's got something in his hand and there's a cord and I was wondering about that but I wasn't quite sure just the way his hand was placed. And this was done in 89. So, I'm wondering if he's like holding I'm just curious now. He's taken away my entire conversation about holding your hand up to hear yourself. Unusual and I'm fascinated. Oh, if I only say Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, I uh, I have to say that I certainly am listening to that song differently than I have before, and honestly, we'll, prob- <laughs> we'll probably will going forward. I've just never stopped to pay so much attention to it, and again, it's one of the songs that it's it's always interesting to me what catches me in each of us. Um, but even myself and when I'm trying to figure out like what catches me when I'm hearing a song what catches it to be a song that I truly listen to and love and respond to and what catches me in that kind of background way where I'm kind of paying attention kind of paying attention but not maybe as fully or as deeply so it, it is interesting doing this and having just this very solid attention to hearing it differently and yeah and thinking about how Robin his voice is so unique and it blends so amazing with his brothers and we just don't get to hear it on its own so really great performance of that song and I don't know if I've heard if I've heard other live performances I'm sure I have I guess but I don't really can think of any but yeah that when I think of the version that I've heard on the radio and other places and I hear this it's just so well done and and consistent I guess um but yeah the lyrics I had to go look at the lyrics a little bit and I was kind of curious what inspired it I didn't I didn't find anything satisfying about what inspired the song and I I have a feeling when I listened to it I never quite understood the lyrics incredibly either so maybe that's part of what didn't fully grab me like I certainly understood the I started the joke and and all of that stuff and I'm wondering if the song didn't catch my particular catch me particularly like I ha- when did that song come out let me look okay so it came out in 68 so I wasn't even here yet not that that means a whole lot but I I, I just thinking about that that song was just more in the background and I, and I think of the Bee Gees you know of the kind of stay in alive era is where I started to probably really pay attention and maybe a little bit before that it also a lot of what drew me to songs when I was younger especially was the singability of a song and that song strikes me as not so much the song you sing along with but the song that you listen to so I appreciate being reintroduced to it thank you very much Thank you all very much for hanging out and watching with me today. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and love to hear your comments and requests below. I appreciate all of your support that way. If you feel called to support us beyond the likes and subscribes, and we love those and we appreciate you for them so much. If you would like to join us on Patreon, you can connect down below in the video notes or on the About tab. There's some interesting videos up on Patreon behind the wall. So enjoy. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the music. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.